Good morning. Welcome to our meditation service this morning. My name is Claire Summerhill. I'm a practitioner here and a ministerial intern. As we begin, I'd ask you to take a moment to make sure your cell phones are silenced. We do let people enter after the service has started and we invite them to sit near the back. If you think this might disrupt your experience, uh, feel free to move closer to the front now. As we begin our meditation, we're going to take a moment to calm ourselves and become mindful. This, of course, is something you can do anywhere and anytime. And one of the most powerful tools for becoming mindful is watching our breath. Our breath is one, one of the amazing things about our breath is that we can both control it consciously or we can allow it to function perfectly without any thought at all. This actually represents of two parts of the creative process, the part about consciously taking action and the part of allowing things to be. That's why taking time to watch your breath is so powerful. So let's begin by taking in a deep breath and letting it out <clears throat> and repeating that several times. Scientific studies have proven that simply stopping what you're doing and taking three or four long, deep breaths actually stops the production of those hormones in your body that cause anxiety and increases the production of those hormones that, call, that cause calmness. So I invite you now in this calm and mindful awareness to come with me into meditation. Think of every day of your life as being on the threshold. Threshold is a place where two different realities meet. Imagine an airlock in a spaceship. This is an environment that can take on the qualities of either environment and allows the two to meet and allows a transition from one to the other. Imagine this meditation time as an airlock, a place where heaven and earth touch each other. We come from our outer, wonderful, busy world.
And we come into this space and welcome. experience of that other world. In ancient times, they called this space the Holy of Holies, the place where heaven and earth touched each other. This meditation is your Holy of Holies. Come into a sacred space and say, I'm ready. This is that instant between the inhale and the exhale. That's why we watch our breath. you're in now this sacred space, your own holy of holies, the threshold, the airlock between two realities, allowing the two to touch. I invite you to come with me on a little imaginary journey. And if a guided meditation is not your particular way of connecting, just let your mind go where it wants to go. Just imagine for a moment that you're walking down a dry and dusty pathway under a gray sky. A few dead and dying leaves hang from the stark branches of the trees. A stream runs along the path, but there's no sparkle in it. It also is gray, muddy. But then ahead of you, You see a tall waterfall. Splashing over the rocks, down into a beautiful clear pool. You approach the pool. let the water touch your bare feet. It's cool and inviting, the perfect temperature. You step in. You feel the soft, sandy bottom under your feet. You step in deeper. Let the water rise to your knees, then to your waist. You begin to feel a kind of excitement, a kind of wonder, a kind of freedom. walk closer until you're underneath the waterfall and you let it spray cascade gently over you pour over you
You may feel you want to submerge yourself in that clear, bright water. And come out refreshed, renewed. You have this sense that every thing that seems to be a part of you that isn't really part of you is washed away. If you've struggled, perhaps with that old belief, I don't matter, that's gone, washed away. Anyone's ever told you you're a loser, you're a failure, you're bad. That's not true. And it's washed away. your fears. Whatever they are. Of lack. Of scarcity. That you'll never really be loved. That you'll die with your gifts unused, your song unsung. you'll be rejected if you try to express who you really are. All those fears, those aren't who you really are. And now, in this place, they're washed away. Everything gone except your God essence. God, that word we use to describe the infinite, loving, creative, supportive, positive energy of the universe. An impression almost beyond our human language. So we choose to use this word God for that infinity, that, div that divine love out of which you came into form, unique, precious, Amazing. That's what's there. As you step up out of the water. in your new state, with your new eyes. You look around you.
from this place of knowing the truth of who you are. What you see is as different as the difference between being blind and gaining the gift of sight. The trees are now in full leaf green, alive, bright, reflecting the light of the sun. That sky that seemed gray before, sapphire blue. Flowers bloom. Whatever your favorites are, you see them, daisies, violets, and roses, lilacs, bright daffodils. Is Jesus, a powerful teacher and example. Gave many people this gift of seeing the world from new eyes. Seeing the world as it looked when they knew the truth of who they were. in the air. You take in a deep breath, that clear, light air. life. And you yourself feel so light, a shining light and a lightness of being. So light. With all those things that were no part of you washed away. Free as a child, light as the wind, dancing. this place we call our earth home. Now the universe is holding you up. And you're unrestrained. Free.
And perhaps in this place of lightness, this place of clarity, this place of knowing, who you are and that you live in love. Perhaps you feel yourself growing a sense of expanding till there's no separation between you and this infinite universe. Our teacher Jesus said, I will baptize you with water and I will baptize you with fire. A beautiful and powerful image. Not that we have sinned or need to be saved because we know we are whole and perfect expressions of the divine. But we forget that the image of baptism, stepping underneath a perfect waterfall or going into a deep, clear pool reminds us those parts of us that we think are real. Release them now as easily as sliding off in the water to reveal your true and perfect self. Remember this airlock space, this threshold space, your own inner holy of holies where you connect, where heaven and earth touch each other. Let your breath take you there.
let yourself come back to this time and place. Breathe deeply. Experience the gratitude, the joy that comes from being human, from being alive. Thank you so much for joining me. This ends our meditation service. Our celebration service begins at 10. I encourage you to take a step out, stretch your legs and return uh, for that service. We do have our ushers at the door um, open and willing to accept any donation you might wish to make to be part of that wonderful law of circulation. Thank you so much. This is the moment. This is the